Nigeria's largest telecommunications company, MTN Nigeria, held a signing ceremony to mark the conclusion of its book build of its Series 2 90 billion naira 10 year corporate bond program, the final tranche of its 200 billion naira program. The book build process commenced on 8th October 2021 and was completed on 15th October 2021. The offer was well received with active participation from a diverse range of high value investors, including pension funds, insurance companies, asset managers, financial institutions, and high net worth individuals. MTN Nigeria CEO Carl Toriola spoke about the landmark moment from the company's head office in Lagos. MTN Nigeria PLC has just concluded the book build of its Series 2 90 billion 10 year corporate bond program as approved by the Securities and Exchange Commission in October 2021, and we're here today to execute the legal agreements and documentation in relation to this. Approximately, this is approximately a 90 billion naira 10 year bond um, with a 12.75 coupon rate, and this represents the second and final tranche of the registered program of 200 billion. Um, the first tranche of 110 billion seven year bond was successfully issued earlier this year and was largely oversubscribed. Um, the 200 billion issued um, across both tranches represents the largest bond issues from any corporate issuer in 2021, reflecting the strong investor appetite and confidence in our company. Recently, uh, thanks to Modupe and Ishmael and all of our teams, um, we were accorded triple A rating by the CGR, um, which is further tes testimony um, to the strength and stability of this organization. The launch of the bond, bond program aligns with our strategy to di diversify our son funding sources and en enhance the flexibility and predictability of our financing strategy. This 10-year bond was priced at 12.75%. Um, when compared to our last seven-year bond, which was priced at 13 percent. We're extending our yield curve and providing a market benchmark that will support wider capital market development and enable other institutions to follow. We think this approach is transformational because we are simultaneously providing high-quality debt instruments for the capital markets, which deepens them and creates platform, a platform that others can ride on. Um, amongst others, the proceeds from this Series 2 will largely be used to refinance the existing floating rate debt and optimize our borrowing costs. We continue to be very, very grateful for the immense investor support as domestic, domestic debt capital markets has once again given us the opportunity to raise long-term financing to aid investments in our network and restructure our balance sheet. In line with our strategy, the bonds issued this year enable us to diversify funding sources and extend the maturity profile of our debt portfolio. We are very, very proud of this landmark and thank the investor community for their continued confidence in our long-term strategy, our excellent management team, and the overall industry. The CEO also spoke about a press release from the company announcing its intention to sell down shares to retail investors in Africa's largest economy. MTN Group is selling down shares. Um, to Nigerians with a primary focus on re retail investors. Um, our intention here is to get as many Nigerians as possible to participate in the creation of wealth um, that MTN brings to the table and to partner with us in this long and wonderful journey um, that we've had. So we encourage you all to, to jump into that as much as possible. Not wanting to take full credit for the landmark moment, CEO Carl Toriola graciously thanked other MTN executives, the company's financial advisors, and their legal team. I just want to take a minute, first of all, to thank my team, probably people who are largely unsung. Of course, our executive director, CFO Modupe, who is at the lead of this. But a lot of people that you might not always see. Ishmael is very well known in the treasury world, controlling one of the biggest treasury portfolios in, in, in corporate Nigeria. But there are people like... Chima, Nikiwe in our legal team, Ifeoma, etc., that have worked tirelessly through the night, many nights to do this. Further to that, our lead financial advisors, Chapel Hill Denham, Vetiva, Stambiga IPTC Capital, FBN Quest, FZMB Capital Markets, RMB, DLM, um, and our trustees from ARM, and of course the legal teams from Alukwa Loibode and Banwa Nigudalu. Um, tremendous, tremendous work. Again, I'm here to, to, to just pretty much eat the icing on the cake, you know. 
Um, but these are the people that really make this possible and are visionary and transforming the way MTN and our capital markets operate. Um, CEO Cartorella also spoke to Arise News about what's in store for 2022. 2022, we continue um, to focus on delivering what we promised to the market, what we promised to the Honorable Minister of uh, the Digital Economy and Communications, which was um, an investment plan of $600 billion over three years. So we're definitely going to make that. Maybe um, we will exceed it. Um, the other aspects um, which we're focusing on is acceleration of broadband, much wider broadband coverage and improving the quality of our uh, broadband connections. There's an opportunity for 5G. We're exploring that um, through the NCC. Um, of course, we work under the guidance of government policy. And rural connectivity is a major, major focus of ours. While executing the projects that we promised on, which are RITC, the Road Infrastructure Tax Credit, um, to participate in a new Energy Expressway. With the 10-year bond priced at 12.75%, MTN Chief Financial Officer Mudukwe Kadri spoke about the interest rate environment in Nigeria and how MTN Nigeria has been bringing its finance costs down. First thing, um, post-COVID, what has happened was that, you know, to stimulate the economy, the interest rates came down. And uh, we took advantage of that in issuing our commercial papers early this year. And then we also tried to do the same thing with the bond program, to try to have some certainty over uh, uh, the longer term uh, funding. So basically what we've done with the bond program is to look at a fixed rate regime to replace our floating rate uh, instruments. So that way we'll be able to have some certainty over our costs and then we'll be able to help manage the bottom line. No Kemi Awudeyi, Managing Director, Investment Banking at Chapel Hill Denim Advisory Partners, spoke about the positive investment appetite for MTN Nigeria bonds. So I'd say exciting, um, and I think it's just a strong um, testament to the fact that the market you know, is willing to support um, MTN. Um, this is the second issuance that we've done this year. The first issuance was um, oversubscribed, uh, Series 2 um, also um, oversubscribed, and we don't take um, investors for granted. You know, we, we appreciate the fact that um, they, 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 they want to support um, MTN's business in Nigeria, and the fact that you know, they see that, you know, that, there's, a, that, that there's, there are opportunities um, within the market uh, 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 in the telecoms market, and so therefore, um, you know, if MTN does come to the market, you know, they will they will support them. So, um, pretty excited that we were oversubscribed. MTN Nigeria just keeps on growing. The company's revenues for the nine month 2021 period reached 1.2 trillion naira, the highest level for a publicly traded company in Nigeria. The company is on track to exceed the 1.3 trillion in full year revenues for 2020. Another milestone for Nigeria's telecommunications leader. For Arise News, Rhoda Sodiri.